boxes, <laughs> boxes, and lots of boxes. In today's broadcast, we're going to go over the latest details of that Trump indictment. What's going on in Florida all the way up to New Jersey? Uh, what could unravel thereafter? What really is particularly in those boxes? Why do they end up in Florida? How do they get all from upper in the United States, New Jersey, all the way down to Florida? What's really at issue it here? What about all your incredible stimulus? All that incredible stimulus checks for the beautiful year. And why are boxes being stored in a bathroom? <laughs> the latest details and more on a brand new Evenings LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California for June 13th, 2023. Let's get to the details starting right now on a big, bold, beautiful evening. It all starts right now. The focus is always Santa Monica. From- Essentially, 73 cents. Right and wow, now. what very, a night it is exciting. from the source of Santa Monica. This is a one-day chart. Look this is right now a once chart again. On this and let's take a look and see where we're going with these up 70 boxes. Cent, up to 73 and cents. There are so Green many chart of these one day. huge boxes. Bitcoin is covering that at 25,000. Um, they're just everywhere. <laughs> trying to break to 25,000. <laughs> boxes and, and boxes everywhere. We're going to detail them tonight from the source of Santa Monica, California. I'll detail it for you. What's at issue in this criminal diamond? This is what the market's looking at right now. Really they started the day with form. Bitcoin at a wonderful 24800 to start the day. Then Ethereum was at 1700 and the Central Island was hovering at a 74 cent valuation. Love all that. These were your breakout coins to start the day. They went right into that membership newsletter before sunrise. Did you become a member? Orca up 40% to start the day. Liquidity up 22%. Your breakout coin. And a lot of questions. Tonight, we're going to go through all the details of what's stemming from these boxes, these allegations, uh, the impact on your crypto, uh, the impact on what's coming on next for all this and more. We're going to be looking at how everything has changed so quickly in just a short period of time. We'll be looking at all the details of what could stem out next week as well from the shores of Santa Monica, California. How are you? Good evening. It's LA, and I'm good to be back with you live from the shores of Santa Monica, California. On this beautiful uh, June 13th, 2023, I'm not dead yet. Um, Maybe the legal defense of Donald Trump is, but (laughs) we will see what's coming up in tonight's broadcast. All right, so let's take it back a notch. It's a lot to digest. It's very confusing. And I'm not even referring to Donald Trump. I'm just referring to myself. Uh, dead, then alive, then alive, then dead. And I'm good to be back with you. LA is back with you on air with three broadcast channels. LA1, LA2, and LA3. They're all live. New shows, tape shows, and also live streaming here on YouTube. Uh, the issue at hand is the handling of boxes and lots of documents 
from D.C. to Florida. And it's going to be confusing because sometimes these boxes originated in D.C. Now they're in Florida. Sometimes they were in offices. Now they're in bathrooms. Uh, it's sort of like me waking up and saying I'm dead and then I'm alive. <laughs> Apples and apples. That's what we got. The latest details on the incredible stimulus checks have been passed. They're still passed. They're all detailed on this channel. Three channels, actually, I should say. Channel 1, Channel 2, and Channel 3. Allied 1, Allied 2, and Allied 3. Allied 1 has all your incredible stimulus. Channel 2 has all your incredible uh, crypto Wall Street Live. And Channel 3 has also all your incredible money. You need to, step one, become a member. A paid member paid member and go into that incredible newsletter, which is now a website. So it doesn't need to be sent to you. You can become a member right now, go into that paid website, then use that password provided to you as a paid member, go right in there, apply for all those incredible stimulus checks and start pouncing. Number two, uh, crypto is really going left and right, taking a lot of unusual turns in just a short period of time. And what's really at issue is that um, the, the money, um, that is being spent in trying to figure out what's going off all these boxes. And these criminal indictments is just, you know, growing by the minute and by the hour. Uh, I'll be detailing all this for you in the next few days because I know it is very, very, very elaborate. And uh, when people are storing boxes in the bathroom, <laughs> isn't that a bathroom? It looks like a bathroom. When people are storing boxes in a bathroom, it makes everything even more confusing and uh, more irregular across the board. We'll have all those details and more in tonight's broadcast from the shores of San Marco, California. There is our beautiful Decentraland. Hope you're having a beautiful night. And this is the criminal indictment against the former president, Donald Trump, right here uh, tonight. Let's take a look at that right there. It is across the board. So what's at issue is that... Donald Trump is facing problems stemming from his alleged mishandling of federal documents he allegedly took from the National Archives in D.C., transported all the way down to Florida, this is Florida, and put them near the shampoo and the conditioner in the bathroom. <laughs> is that a Trump bathroom? Well, it's it's not. It's a ballroom or a bathroom. I'm not quite sure. There's a lot of fancy decorations on that wall. But those are U.S. property. Those boxes. They're not his, and they don't belong in Florida. But they belong back in D.C. And tonight we're going to go over the latest details of how that's impacting the markets left and right, and how that impact is far from over across the board. Here are some of your breakout coins. Um, remember, we have three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. We detail all those incredible coins left and right throughout the day and thereafter. So you never want to miss any particular coins that you are entitled to at any time from this channel. As <laughs> I almost lost you there for a second. Tonight, what's important to understand is that there's a lot of moving pieces in this Trump matter. A lot of moving pieces. And if it seems like it's overwhelming, it should be because it's very, very hard to follow across the board. What's at issue here tonight is the um, is the issues stemming from uh, the movement of these boxes in such a short period of time. Uh, what's important to understand is that these boxes um, were items that belonged somewhere else, and that somewhere else is not Florida. <laughs> they belong in D.C. They're not anyone's property in Florida, the property of, of the National Archives. And uh, those and those documents are important to understand that they, they stem from what's at issue, uh, from the mishandling of, or alleged mishandling of documents out of the National Archives. Let's go over the details across the board and, and what we're facing here tonight. What's stemming here across the board is the allegation that these boxes, and here's a lot of them. Let's take a look at them right now. There, and there, and there. These boxes... Um, don't belong in Florida. 
that they're the property of the National Archives, and that is why this exists. Uh, what is that? That is a criminal complaint in federal court, and more boxes, and more boxes, and more boxes. Moving left and moving right, and we'll be detailing these boxes over the next few days on this channel, and oh my goodness, spilled boxes, just going left and going right. What's important to understand is that there's a lot of confusion stemming from where all this came from, and all of this just keeps on getting a little bit worse by the minute and by the hour. Let me tell you what we're dealing with tonight. Big stimulus that was passed by the Trump administration is still live, and that incredible stimulus is still live. Um, what's important to understand is that the, the stimulus is not going away whether the boxes are moving around. <laughs> I think that sort of needs to be made clear across the board. Uh, but what started here really was uh, a, a day in which we heard details about the latest CPI, um, where the S&P and the NASDAQ hit a 13-month high, um, and the, the situation keeps on getting quite interesting left and right. Let me tell you where we are right now. The moving parts that we're dealing with right now is that 63% uh, of the Fed governors believe that um, that a rake hike uh, in July uh, may be possible or should be implored. Uh, the FOMC meeting... Uh, is looking for a series of hikes that we've not seen for many decades. Let's look at some quotes right tonight across the board. And let's also look at some numbers. Uh, the, the issue at hand is how much inflation do we have and how much inflation do we not have. What's at issue is that inflation rose 4% in the annual report released today. This is for the month of May, and that's the lowest in two years. So that is reassuring. CPI came in at 0.1% for, uh, for, uh, for the month as an increase, which is relatively flat, and 4% for the year. Remember last year, we were talking about 3% increase, so that's pretty darn good. Uh, following that release, the market said there's a 100% chance that the Federal Reserve will not raise interest rates this week. Well, what about the rest of the year? Let's look at some of the numbers. The CPI showed an increase of 0.1. That's flat. Uh, and it was the smallest increase since March of 2021, which is what, about when I started recording. And it also showed that numbers were really not there. Where was the growth or was there any growth in these latest numbers uh, uh, released across the board? Let's look at some quotes. The encouraging trend in consumer prices will provide the Federal Reserve a, a leeway to keep rates unchanged this month. That, of course, is the month of June. Uh, and if the trend continues, the Federal Reserve will not rate high, raise hikes for the rest of the year, says Jeffrey Rowe, chief economist at LPL Financial. Of course, that's not the Federal Reserve speaking. That's just an economist. But, boy, that is looking fascinating. Where, was the, where were things more expensive in the latest report? The CPI showed growing discretionary spending between core and headline, but let's look at the actual numbers. Um, it showed that certain numbers like gasoline kept things down, but um, overall, the numbers that took the biggest movement were not what we usually would see across the board. We saw um, food and, and, and certain items relatively stabilizing. Uh, and some of the energy things were still at issue. Food prices were up 6.7% year-to-date, though eggs fell 13.8% in the month of May, sliding negative on a 12-month basis across the board. Shelter, of course, causes rent, is now um, surging than in prior months this year. Um, at 8%, transportation is up 10%. Airline fares have declined 13.4% year to date. This is all Department of Labor Statistics released a separate release today. Let's look again at those numbers across the board. Uh, labor uh, uh, labor has been sort of the, the catalyst for causing a lot of inflation. But the encouraging trend in consumer prices will provide the Federal Reserve some leeway to keep prices unchanged this month. If the trend continues, the Federal Reserve will likely not hike 
for the rest of the year, says Jeffrey Roach, chief economist at LPL Financial. That's his opinion. It may be wrong, but that's his opinion. Stocks are up on the latest inflationary report with the NASDAQ hitting a 13-month high. This is on the news of all that big brouhaha about chat GPT, the ability of computers to communicate with one another and not have to use all the processor power of one computer, but level different computers in different locations communicating one with another and creating artificial intelligence, faster processing, more productivity across the board. The year-over-the-year year numbers released in today's were, um, were interesting. Uh, where was the where was the CPI or the inflation today? Food prices were up 6.7% year to date in the latest numbers today. Eggs down 13.8% a month of May, slightly negative on a 12 month period. Rent is up 8% year to date. Transportation is up 10.2%. Airline flight fares are down 13.4% year to date. That's despite this surge of rebookings we've seen in airlines in the latest numbers across the board today. Um, excluding food and energy, which brings you to core CPI, it was up 0.4 and 0.53% and 5.3% analyzed across the board. All right, so let's go to Trump and all that. Trump uh, is taking heat from different locations, and one of the most fascinating ones is other Republicans. Trump ally Ken Buck says he would not be comfortable with a convicted felon in the White House. Could Trump be convicted by the time uh, the election comes around? Well, he said he would not feel comfortable with the situation. Buck was referring to the former president with using his own words, Trump's own words from the 2016 campaign. Let's look at Donald Trump's words in 2016. Buck told News Today. He said that Hillary was unfit to, to be in the White House for the way she handled classified information. So I think his words would set the standard that America would look at Trump in determining whether he is fit for the presidency. Ouch. So that's a Republican talking about another Republican and using Trump's words against Hillary Clinton, against Trump now, over a year later. Boy, interesting. And that is uh, Ken Buck out of Colorado, not mincing his words. It has been a fascinating day, and it's far from over. Trump fundraiser and is underway tonight at Bedmeister. Uh, <laughs> and if it's a late night, bring your pillow, because Mr. Pillow, Mike Lindell, uh, will be there. Isn't he everywhere? <laughs> Uh, it's it's in Bedmas, Bedminster, New Jersey, Tuesday, and this is after Trump faced a series of not so nominal federal charges in a Florida courtroom, Miami courtroom, in which he pled guilty for the handling or mishandling of classified documents, and. Uh, the people who will be at tonight's event include Bernie Moreno, who is an Ohio Senate candidate, and Jeff Gunter, a potential Nevada Senate candidate. These are not current incumbents. These are people trying to run for office on Trump's name. Uh, donors are trying uh, the price tag for tonight's event, $100,000 for the Trump Save America Joint Fundraiser Committee. That's the name of the organization. And it'll be a private candlelight dinner. I did not make that up. Private candlelight dinner. Uh, <laughs> the visual is, is as it seems. Private candlelight dinner at, at a golf course in New Jersey tonight. Uh, uh, and that'll cost you $100,000 to be by candlelight. With elected officials and special guests. Oh boy, I hope there's enough light because I don't want to be sitting next to someone I want to sit next to. <laughs> and that is tonight, um, the day after the arraignment. A arraignment that featured Trump and Nauta, Nauta, not Nautica, but Nauta, uh, and of course Trump pled not guilty. His attorney claims that Trump is a victim of a two-tier system. Um, that's, of course, the attorney's uh, issue. These criminal charges were a 37-count indictment stemming from his handling of classified documents at his resort in Mar-a-Lago. 
Those documents did not originate in Mar-a-Lago. They were originated back in D.C. We thought we were going to hear a lot from Todd Blanche, Trump's attorney, in plea not guilty today. We did not hear as much as expected. And this story is far from over. And uh, I think the Ken Buck comments will be the ones that are going to sort of last the day. Those are the ones where he says, let's look at Trump's words in 2016. He said Hillary Clinton was unfit for office. He's quoting Trump. For the way she handled or mishandled classified information. So in his words, he set the standard for what Americans should look at to determine his presidency. Ouch. Interesting. Interesting. Big stimulus is available for you. Big stimulus. So step one, go into this video, become a paid member. Paid member, then you go into that membership newsletter website. It's now a website. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't have to wait for something to be sent to you. You become a paid member. You immediately apply for stimulus today. Stimulus for you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, anyone who needs stimulus of different magnitudes, homes, cars, electric, utility bills, all different types of stimulus. It's all available for you today. It's law. It's in all U.S. states. You need to apply for it. It's not automatic. It's not so difficult. It's very, very straightforward. It was originally sent via me to you on a, on a daily basis. Now you're not the wait anymore. You became a paid member. Then via this channel, you'll be sent the password to go into the paid membership newsletter website. Apply for that incredible stimulus and start getting that incredible stimulus. Meantime, make some money on crypto. Go over to the crypto channel. Crypto's still surging up and down and left and right. Crypto surging all across the board. There was a lot of crypto news that came out uh, uh, in the last 24 hours about people who are not disclosing their activities in crypto. Um, a lot of them on YouTube. Uh, but crypto is now surging once again. Stocks are up dramatically. And chat GPT and the abilities of computers to communicate with one another is one of the big reasons why Microsoft was up so big. What does that mean? Computers communicating with one another, they're not necessarily in the same location. It's all fascinating. That's why you want to be part of this incredible community. Three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. Whether it's this, whether it's a federal indictment against the former president, whether it's this, Boxes that originated in New Jersey, whether it's this, boxes that are now in a, a bathroom in Florida, it's getting very, very fascinating all across the board. Uh, Trump is currently in a Miami airport flying back to Bedminster. Trump's supporters um, are returning back uh, and uh, they are uh, supporting his progress across the board. These are boxes of U.S. property, um, lots of details in there. And these boxes um, may have a lot of national secrets that uh, impact our arms and tr our, our, our men and soldiers, our men and, men and women overseas. So please be attentive to them and their needs. Always big details about crypto. Always big details uh, covered on this channel, left and right. I want you part of this incredible community. Step one, go into this video, become a member. Step two, go into that incredible membership newsletter. There's a password, a paid password for paid members. Start applying for all this incredible stimulus and understand where we're going. I'll be back on with you live on all three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3, all throughout the night with tape shows as well. And we'll see what happens tomorrow um, as the details of all this confusion and these boxes continue to grow and the details of this criminal uh, case continues to surge left and right. From the shores of San Marco, California, stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful evening, and as always, stay with LA for more.